parts of our area are still feeling the effects of the weekend's wind. Most AEP customers who lost power now have it restored. But tonight, still, some people are in the dark. The wind also damaged some buildings. NBC4 care Eric Halperin is in Old Town East, where a building has been closed since Saturday night. Eric, what's the latest there? Jared and Jen, we are by a building at the corner of Parsons Avenue and Oak Street. Oak Street is still closed because of this, and there is tape from the fire department around this entire building here. And this is certainly not how those who live or work here thought their week would be starting. Danger signs posted on doors of this Old Town East building. Looking up at the roof, you can see where a chimney was knocked down. The Department of Building and Zoning says it damaged the roof and possibly the kitchen of a third floor tenant. When I left that day, I noticed some bricks in this back parking lot, but I didn't think much of it. And then I got a call that they were evacuating the building that evening. Anna Marie Kua owns Beauty Box. It's one of four businesses in the building. For now, they can't open and tenants can't live in their apartments. This building is a cornerstone of the neighborhood. According to the Department of Building and Zoning, while on scene for the chimney collapse, an inspector and division of fire also responded to complaints from tenants about cracks in walls and windows. It's heartbreaking to not know now when we'll be able to do business again, if we'll be able to do business in this space again, and just the unknown. It's pretty scary. The chimney collapse is not the only problem caused by the weekend weather. At one point, AEP Ohio had more than 125,000 customers without power. The large majority have it back. The operations manager says everyone should have electricity by Wednesday night. We appreciate our customers' patience in this uh, in a wind event. It's never a good time to be without power, uh, but know that our crews are working hard um, and we're going to get to everybody as quickly and safely as possible. And as for the building here, I heard from the Department of Building and Zoning again. They say an engineer determined to be inside. It is safe and tenants will be allowed back in right away. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Eric Alpern, NBC4. All right, Eric, thank you.